Hello, Sagittarius. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me for some reason. Dang. I got choked there and I'm shuffling <laughs> with the cards face up. What's going on? Hmm. How does Sagittarius feel about this person and the relationship? How does Sagittarius feel about this person and the relationship? And I'm all screwed up. <laughs> because I didn't even tell you what this reading was, did I? Even though I know I'm putting in the title, but this is you versus them, and this is for the 10th through the 18th. Okay, guys, so let's try this again. I got a feeling your reading is going to be one of those that's like, hmm, Sagittarius, and the person that they're thinking about. <clears throat> How does Sagittarius feel about this person in the relationship? How do they feel about this person in the relationship? Ooh, yeah. Five of Swords. It was a battle with this person. I feel like you guys always left feeling defeated. One of you, anyway. I think each of you had your times where you felt the other, you left the other one feeling like, fuck. You know, this is Aquarius energy here. Hmm. Not able to get along. How did this person... Dang. How did this person feel about Sagittarius in the relationship? How did this person feel about Sagittarius in the relationship? Two of coins or pentacles. Um, they felt like you guys were like always hot, cold, up, down, juggling. They didn't feel like you guys were all in. And that created a lot of conflict, I feel like, between the two of you. They felt like you guys were juggling, um, that you wanted things your way. Capricorn energy. What's currently going on with my Sagittarius? What's currently going on with my Sagittarius? Lovers. Mm. I feel like you are needing to make a choice. You feel like you have to make a choice because you can't continue on like this. Um, I definitely get that you love this person, but there's always been something that was in the background, whether it's a job, whether it's a person, whether it's family, friends, something like that. Um, this person felt like they weren't a priority as well, that you had all these different things going on. Let's see what this one is. The Hierophant, Taurus energy, Gemini energy here. Maybe there is an ex-wife or ex-husband um, that they feel like is still significant to you. Somebody else that you're committed to or something else that you're committed to here. Hmm. What's going on for the other person? Are some of you guys still married? Maybe some of you are still married and um, uh, haven't gotten a divorce yet, or um, you haven't completely severed ties. <clears throat> What's currently going on for the other person? The chariot. They're trying to move forward. They're trying to move on here. Cancer energy. They definitely do not want to be involved in any um, three-party relationships, any relationship where they feel like uh, some things or people are taking priority over them. They want to feel like they're number one. What is the influence for Sagittarius? What is the influence on their current situation? What is the influence on their current situation? Influence. Ten of Swords. There was definitely a betrayal. Um, where somebody felt stabbed in the back here. They felt like it just happened way too many times. I feel like you guys 
are feeling it right now. Um, this also is Gemini energy. Gemini, I think, is your opposite sign. But um, you're doing a lot of thinking right now. A lot of reflecting. Um, I'm feeling like somebody wants to make an amends and come forward, be truthful about a situation. Because you kind of feel like you know why your situation is the way that it is. And I'm feeling like you want to... Um, like you want to be truthful. You want to lay all your cards out on the table um, for some of you, okay? What's influencing that other person's situation? What's influencing your situation? Ten of Swords. They feel betrayed, stabbed in the back. They no longer want to feel that way. They're not going to feel that way. They will not be number two, number three. They won't be anything other than number one. They want to hear um, some truth from you. But even if you guys do not come um, forward with whatever it is that they want you to say or do, I, I do see this person, you know, just having their own point of view about the situation and then moving forward from there. Okay. So regardless, um, they're moving forward. They're not looking back. But it's always there in the forefront though. Whatever happened between the two of you. A lot of signs have been getting the same cards in the same positions. Um, so I'm feeling like both of you guys are like thinking about your different situations but with different points of view. You can tell how this Ten of Swords is different from that Ten of Swords. This person over here feels like um, you know there's arguments and, and shit all around, conflict all around. And they're visiting like this uh, tombstone. And I feel like that tomb is the relationship. And they know what their part was in it and putting it in the ground, right? And then you see this person over here with all the swords in their back. And all they can do is shield themselves. Okay. So, <clears throat> what's coming in for Sagittarius? What's coming in for Sagittarius? Let's see. Strength. Mm, taming that beast. Holding back that anger. That aggressiveness. That frustration. That Leo energy. That devil energy is what the strength is fighting. What your tendencies usually are. If it's to blow your top, then that's what you're holding back. That's what you're taming. Arguing, that's what you're taming. And I see you doing that. I see you like, you know, baring your teeth and basically just enduring, you know, to hear the other person. <clears throat> to accept your, your responsibility. To hold yourself accountable. Let's see. What's coming in for them? Queen of Wands. This person's on fire. Very attractive. Um, I think they're a lot stronger. They're a lot more resilient. And they will not take anything less than what they deserve. They don't want to put up with any more bullcrap. Okay? This is not going to apply for all of you. And I may do another reading for you guys. But I feel this person, like, I hear somebody going, I'm sick and tired of the bullshit. <clears throat> so, and there we have the bull. 
what can Sagittarius expect from this person? Ten of Wands. They'll carry the weight with you, but they will not carry it alone. They will not do that anymore. They will not sacrifice themselves anymore. They will travel that road with you. They will fight with you, but they will not fight against you anymore. Either you're going to be on the same page or you're just not going to be. Okay? What can this person expect from Sagittarius? Okay, sideways there. Nine of Cups. I feel that you guys will live up to what it is that they're expecting from you. I feel like you will make them happy or they will be happy rather when they see certain changes that you've made or um, uh, how you're willing to communicate, how you're willing to open up. Okay, and vice versa. Um, I feel like never is it one sided when a relationship goes to shit. And I feel like they have their own issues and things that you weren't necessarily happy with. But um, I see more from their side right now and how they viewed the relationship with you. I feel like you guys are like very, very attractive and confident in who you are, what you can do, what you can provide. Um, you're very confident in that, I feel. And um, yeah, so this Piscean energy here, I feel like Aries, Leo um, is here. Gemini is definitely here. You guys do love each other. Maybe there's a relationship that was not truly over before you met this person or something like that, but, or they felt like it wasn't over. They felt like you guys were juggling and that, that created a lot of arguments and tension between the two of you. So I think this is more about you showing them what it is that you really want and what you're willing to do for them. I think they want you to fight for them here. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys, and um, I'll be speaking with you soon. Namaste.